Hi, this is Jenny from CrackTestDummies.com, and I'm here to do a quick video review of the Ecosystem Journals. Now, this is interesting because I got a solicitation in my email box saying, would you like to try our journals? And I thought, well, what is it really to try in a journal? Well, come to find out, not all journals are created equally. And I'm really impressed by this Ecosystem Journal um, because it's 100% recycled post-consumer used recycled materials. I think that's pretty impressive. Um, the one they sent me is uh, kind of the, the size that I would want to do for sketching or travel journaling. Um, it has a marvelously suede cover. It, I don't know what this is made out of, but all I know is it feels good and it's nice and soft. And it has a little um, elastic band to keep it closed for you. But I want to show you a couple of the features. Um, it has a really nice cover content page, so you can put your name in it, uh, if, if you drop it, how to get a hold of you. And then there's this little part where it tells you that your journal has come from many different places because it's all recycled. In the back cover, you have a code. And you can go online and enter in your code and find out exactly where your journal came from, what materials were used in creating it. I think that's kind of cool. Um, it also give you a handy dandy back pocket, so if you want to store extra paper, pencils, um, maybe templates in here. But the question is, well, how, how does the journal work? Is it like, are the pages nice? So um, I'll show you. These are nice, creamy pages. They're not stark white. It's kind of like a creamy white. Um, it's soft, nicely finished. Uh, I would say that it's a little thicker than a, a copy white paper or a Xerox white paper. Um, but I wanted to try out some different things, so I'll show you what I did to try it out. So I tried some Zentangling using black ink, uh, and this is like a Vic Market Sharpie type marker. Um, and it, yes, it did absolutely bleed through. Fortunately for me, I like the way they look on the back. So when I do these kind of things, I actually will put a piece of liner paper in so it doesn't bleed through to the next page. This page has marker and watercolor pencils, which did not bleed through. The ink did, but not the pencil. Here I sprayed it with a glimmer type of mist, just to see if it would wrinkle the paper, and it really didn't wrinkle the paper with just a few quick shots of, of radiant rains. Here I did some decoupaging. I actually did about three layers with just a glue stick, and I brayered it down. And as you can see here, it really only had a very little wrinkle to it. It held up very well. This page whoop, is now glued together because I just put some paint in there. Oh, here it is. This is paint. I actually used um, acrylic-based paint from Claudine Helm's studio line, and I painted right in the journal. And there was very minimal wrinklage, which I think is really impressive. Um, actually, I painted it. I left it open to dry. Then I put in a piece of parchment, and I turned it upside down and weighted it um, just to keep it from wrinkling. But it's holding up really well. So what I'm finding is that this is the kind of journal that I would absolutely take with me on vacation so that as I am traveling, if I want to glue stick something in um, and kind of make it a, a travel scrapbook as I go, I would absolutely take this one with me. And like I said, this cover is so soft and smooth. I just love it. So this is the ecosystemlife.com uh, notebook if you're interested you can visit them read on in the blog and we'll have some tasty links for you so you can see thank you so much for reading craft